Okay, what are these? How is this even possible? How do these sound so good in this price range? I am blown away, guys. Absolutely incredible. We're not going to need any of these anymore. Make way for the Soundpeats Air 4 Lite. This is a pair of earbuds that's punching well above their weight. So this is the Soundpeats Air 4 Lite, not to be confused with the Air 4. These are a slightly trimmed down version. These are the half in-ear design. They have a slightly different approach to the sound delivery compared to your typical full style earbuds. The main difference being with the half earbud, they don't need different size buds, nor are they as intrusive, which in my opinion leads to less fatigue, or in my experience especially. These may be expected to give up a bit of bass or some compromise on sound quality, but <laughs> to be honest, that isn't the case here. These sound incredible. We're going to get to testing in a moment. They are mostly a plastic construction, but they feel well produced and to a high quality. They are really nice and light. They have a copper color badge on each of the earbuds with the Sampedes logo proudly presented. They're magnetic, so they stick to the case well and seamlessly every time you want to put them away or charge them up. There are two tiny metal plates on the bottom of each stem for your charging. They're also marked left and right for your convenience. The case also has a magnetic lid. There's a different tone of color on the inside of the case like a gray. This case is in a glossy black finish. On the back of the case, we've got the hinge. This again has got the copper Soundpeats logo and it feels very sturdy. On the bottom, we've got the USB-C charging port. There's also a green LED indicator on the front which goes white to indicate when charging and yellow when the batteries are running low. There's also a Bluetooth reset button in case you need that. I really like the design, I think they're really convenient. We've also got an application we can use with a free equalizer and things like that so let's go and install the application and test them out. I couldn't seem to find a QR code, so we do need to search for the Soundpeats application in the Play Stores. Once you've installed the application, go ahead and open this. You will be required to make an account. Once you're ready to log into the app, sign in. There'll be a few permissions that you need to accept, and then you want to add device. This will take you to your Bluetooth menu where you select the Soundpeats, then come back to the app and it's ready to go from here. You'll first see that we have a status update on screen showing us how much battery is remaining on each of the earbuds. I'm not sure why they're not equal, but they seem fine. On our settings page, we have a volume control. This is just your typical slider volume up and down as it says on the tin. Then we've got our adaptive EQ where the headphones play a frequency spectrum to you. Then you find your personal sweet spot, but I'll do this later. Next, we have the preset gallery with the out of the box classic settings. Then you have a bass boost, bass reduction, electronic, rock and roll, folk, treble enhancer, pop and classic. You can just select whichever one of those better suits the genre you're listening to. Then we have the equalizer, which allows us to customize the EQ to your sound taste even further in finer detail. I haven't experimented fully with this feature, but after a little test and a play around, I think the tone gallery is more convenient for me, but this is here if you do want access to it. We also have a game mode, which is meant to reduce the latency. Although to be honest, I didn't notice much of a difference. I think they're quite good anyway out of the box. Here we have the tap function button, disables the double tap and volume functions from the earbuds. Finally, we have the dual device. So this allows it to connect to two devices, for example, your phone and PC at the same time. But I do have a little issue with this that we'll talk about later in the video. The app is very basic, but it's functional and works as expected. It's pretty good overall. So this is an audio test for the Soundpeats Air 4 Lite. I'm currently sat at my desk. This is basically what the headphones are going to sound like during phone calls. I wouldn't say I'm disappointed in the quality. I mean, the quality is not too bad, but there is some Bluetooth compression there. You can hear that quite clearly. The audio quality incoming is much better. It's just, I think the voice and on our end, it sounds a little bit compressed. This is how you can expect your phone calls to sound when you're speaking to people. 
The audio that I'm hearing is going to be quite difficult to bring it across to you guys, but it's crystal clear. It's so good. Really good high quality. I would almost describe it as a premium audio. It's not to the level of Bang & Olufsen and Bose, but it's certainly higher than most of the other earphones and earbuds that I've tested, especially in this price range. Here, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record my actual reaction when I was first recording this, the first time I heard these. I'll insert my reaction here. I'm going to open YouTube Studio. I want to test out some music. So we're going to go with my start songs here, and I'm going to go for something with a bass line. Um, Gully of Dreams seems to have a good bass line, so we'll go with that. We're at around 50% on YouTube, and we're at around 50% on my PC as well. Oh my days, wow. What do you mean? These are outstanding, wow. The bass is incredible. Guys, I'm sorry if I'm shouting. I've got the music on quite loud. Let me just turn it down. They sound absolutely incredible, guys. <laughs> wow. You're going to have to check these out, let me tell you. I also tested them out for gaming on mobile and on PC. Here's the PC test. Anyone got a mic? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can see it's working anyway. I'm just testing some earbuds out, guys. It should be good. Tilted. We're all going to die! I've got to be honest here, I experienced next to no latency on PC gaming or mobile gaming. I did lose the audio for my mobile gaming unfortunately, so you'll just have to take my word for it here, but again, there was no issues whatsoever. These headphones are a Bluetooth version 5.3, the frequency response range is 20Hz to 40kHz, the maximum working distance is 10 meters. Playtime is around 7 hours. Again, if you use them at 50% or less, I think it may be slightly more than that. And up to 30 hours with the charging case. The battery capacity is 35 milliamp hours for the earbuds and 330 milliamp hours for the case. Speaking of the case, this will give you three full charges on the earbuds, so you'll get three complete uses out of each. It's also got the LED indicator, which is green when they're fully charged, yellow when they're getting light, and red when they are low on power. And although a fingerprint magnet, I am still very impressed with the build. They are also slightly waterproof. I can't find the waterproof rating. However, I did drop them in a puddle accidentally and it took me a minute to find my torch. So they worked fine, just absolutely fine. They, they do have some basic waterproofing. I think they're an IPX5 or something like that. They're not waterproof, but they're water resistant. They also have the high resolution certification and the LDAC. The LDAC is awesome because this audio codec allows for a higher bit rate and a higher sample rate for transmission. Though you may have to give up a little bit of that battery life for the audio improvement. The drivers are 13 millimeter large dynamic drivers, so they do sound really good. We've also got six microphones, three on each earphone for call noise reduction. Now, as I said in the call section, I, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed, but yeah, there is definitely some compression in there that I'm not exactly a fan of. Overall, I have to say I'm very impressed with these earbuds. I'm struggling to find any faults at all with them. There was one small issue while I was gaming. When the earphones were connected to both devices, my PC and my mobile at the same time, I was in the middle of a game and somebody sent me a text message. And when someone tries to ring or text message you on your mobile, the earphones will automatically reconnect to the mobile, which then kicked my game audio out. And I struggled to reconnect my game audio for the rest of that match, which was slightly frustrating. I hope this is just a small bug and something that they can iron out in the future. Otherwise, guys, at this price point, I don't think you're going to beat them. I think they're pretty incredible. To be honest, I'm mind blown. 
These are highly recommended guys, especially with this week's Black Friday sales coming up, you'll be able to certainly find them on sale. At the moment, they're currently on Amazon for $37.49. I'll leave affiliate links down in the description. I do get a small amount of kickback from any sales those links generate, but it is very minimal, and you are directly supporting the channel by using those links. Thanks to all of you guys for watching today. If you found any part of this video helpful at all or enjoyed any part of it, please consider subscribing to the channel with your notifications on. That way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you for being here today. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.